Hey guys, Zexus here, bringing you guys an axe tutorial where we'll go over when to use certain moves, true combos, and some follow-ups as well. The first move we are going to cover is the axe neutral light. The axe neutral light has a pretty large hitbox in front of the user, and it's really good to use against grounded approaches. Uh, the only problem with Axe Neutral Light though is it has very long recovery frames, so it's really easy for the enemy to punish. Uh, this move is really good at uh, countering dodge-ins, so like if I hit a Sair here, enemy dodges towards me, I'll be able to hit the end light. Side light has quite a bit of range on it. As you can see here, when the legend throws out the side light on Axe, it thrusts forward first, so the move uh, covers a pretty big distance. Now you have a couple options here. You could either throw out side light D light or side light dare. Both of those are not used really though. What you want to be doing is side light nair is your damage builder. Although it does less damage, uh, nair I believe does about 19 and 19.07 and so it does less than your other option, which is side light Sair. Okay, I hit it with one dodge window there, but it is true. There we go. And Sair hits about 20. But with Nair, it gives you an opportunity to follow up. Like if I hit a Sair, he's going flying, right? There's no way I'm really doing much off that. If I hit Nair, I then have an option. I could end sig. I could like recovery, right? I could... Throw out all sorts of things, catch a dodge read, whatever. So Nair's kind of your combo or your uh, damage builder. Now, side light Sair is true up until about 160 damage, so it is a kill option. Here's an example of side light Sair at 160 being true. Now, as you can see, I had to hit the side light. Oops, very close to the sentinel. If I hit it back here, it shoots them way in the air and I can't hit it. So it uh, side light Sair becomes very sensitive to that and you kind of have to adjust. So hitting the side light closer makes it a lot easier for the Sair and makes it true instead of that. Axe down light is very good at hitting players that jump a lot and like to approach aerially. The hitbox is quite large and it hits in a diagonal upwards in front of you. As you can see here, let's see that. So hits in front and up on the diagonal there and then the hitbox grows at the end. Now this move also hits like rounded which is kind of interesting. You have to be really close to the opponent though like i have to be like right here and it'll hit grounded which is kind of cool especially because axe has a hard time stacked so yeah you could throw that out and it's usually not a bad idea if you're pretty close to stacked and it's also one of the quicker moves and you have less recovery frames so it's a lot safer to throw out than a lot of the other axe moves axe neutral air throws out a rainbow type hitbox above your legend uh, when you're using this move, the hitbox is larger, as you can see here, in front of, like, where your uh, legend is facing, rather than the other way. So, it's important that when you're using Nair, you're facing the opponent, and it'll have a much better chance of hitting them. Side air has quite a bit of force, and it throws out a horizontal hitbox in front of you, as you can see there. Now, the Axe Side Air is super slow, but it has a lot of force. Like right now, the Sentinel's at 170. Boom, that's gonna kill. It's not gonna kill at 160 from here though. So 170 on Shipwreck at the edge. Um, like I was saying, it has a lot of recovery frames on this move. So once you throw it out, you can't really do much uh, for a little bit. But the nice thing about it is like, you can drift it backwards and stuff like you have uh, aerial movement at the same time you can still input a direction and you'll start to move that way. The Axe Dare has a similar rainbow type of hitbox as Nair but below the user obviously. Uh, this move has a much larger hitbox in front of the user 
similar to Nair as well. As you can see here, uh, it hits its uh, larger hitbox in the front there. Now, if I keep going, once it swings to the back, it's a lot lower, so it doesn't quite cover as much space. So you're gonna wanna face towards the user generally, again, with uh, this move as well. Now, a tip from Izadru though, um, if you hit a dare, don't always be so quick to follow up. A lot of people panic and spot dodge, which allows you to get another dare or something. For example, like that. Now, you saw that out of the dare, I hit D-Light, the second one. Now, I do that a lot if the opponent doesn't have a dodge, and I find that it hits a lot. Now, this move is also going to be super lethal off stage. If you hit that, it spikes pretty dang far. Axe Recovery has a ton of force and has a huge hitbox, but it's super predictable. Um, here's the hitbox just so you can see. It goes all the way around the user, but kind of one area at a time. Now, you're able to do this off of Side Light Nair for dodge reads. Now, I don't generally i wouldn't do this too much at lower ranks it works quite a bit but against higher level players they will dodge it they know how early that that uh combo can kill and certain weapons like blasters if you do the recovery and they dodge a certain way they can get under you and because of the recovery frames they can just recover you off the top and kind of turn it around uh, one other quick tip on axe recovery, um, as you can see when I try to recover with it, there's a lot of active frames, which makes it super easy for the opponent to stuff with like a weapon throw or something. So something that you kind of need to start to do, like if I get hit off stage and they're still way over there, is using your recovery at a safe point and don't always save it till the last thing because like I was saying, it's pretty predictable. You can tell where it's going and it has to go that way. Like I can't turn it around or whatever or make it move like the Sair or Nair or whatever. So just using it at different times and kind of being unpredictable with it is very important. Axe Ground Pound is generally not used very much, but it can be used if they have no options when coming back to the stage. Uh, it has a big hitbox as you can see here but it has a lot of recovery frames like if i use it with a fastball over here i have to use a bunch of resources to get back good chance that uh, a reverse edge guard could happen right so it's pretty dangerous um a cool thing though if you hit it grounded you can get two hits instead of one that's 31 damage that is huge a normal side sig on Jala does 25. Now, with uh, side light Nair, you can use this as a follow up off side light Nair. The nice thing about it too is you can follow them with your jump. So if I hit side light Nair and they're dodging to the right, I can drift right and I can set up for the ground pound. So very read heavy. Um, you cannot hit the down dodges with the ground pound at lower damages as I will show you right here if he dodges like down to the right for example I'm just gonna hit the floor or if I use the jump I'm just not gonna hit okay so if he's at a higher damage though let's go to like 110 it'll start to hit so uh, it really depends on what damage they're at but ground pound can be pretty useful out of side light nair that's about everything I wanted to cover in this tutorial. Just really make sure you practice knowing when to do side light Nair and when to do side light Sair, because that can make a very big difference in your gameplay. Uh, if there's anything I missed, let me know. And if there's any other tutorials you guys want to see for other weapons or anything about the game, uh, comment those down below. I'll try to hopefully get to them at some point. Um, yeah, hopefully this helps you guys. Uh, I've been wanting to do a tutorial for a little bit, so hopefully it makes a difference. Share it with your friends if it does, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.